Well, neighbors and friends gathering outside the apartment of a woman brutally murdered in New York City. 35-year-old Christina Lee stabbed to death inside her Chinatown apartment in the middle of the night by a man who apparently followed her home. Lee becoming the latest victim in a string of attacks aimed at people of Asian descent. News Nation's Paul Gerke took a look at their surveillance footage showing the moments leading up to that horrific attack, Paul. Nicole, it's a nightmare come true. That surveillance footage is so tough to watch. Christina Yuna Lee, an aspiring digital music producer from New Jersey, was followed into her apartment by that suspect who forced his way inside. That man was experiencing homelessness and had been arrested multiple times before. He was actually out on supervised release pending three open cases. It took a SWAT team almost an hour to get out here and break the door down to get inside, but by then, it was too late. Christina Yuna Lee came home to her Chinatown apartment around 4.20 a.m. Sunday morning. Surveillance video shows a suspicious man steps behind her, 25-year-old Asamad Nash. Nash stalked her up six flights of stairs and forced his way into Lee's apartment. Lee screamed for help. Neighbors called 911, but when police arrived, they say Nash used a woman's voice at the door, insisting nobody needed help. He attempted to leave on the fire escape before returning. A SWAT team arrived nearly an hour later to break in, but it was too late to save Lee. Her body was found in the bathtub, stabbed more than 40 times. Nash was hiding under a bed, the murder weapon stashed behind a dresser. Nash was taken into custody and arraigned on murder and burglary charges Monday night. He could be sentenced to life in prison. Lee's neighbors in this close-knit community are understandably on edge. This is my neighborhood, and it's just so sad that, that this happened here. It's not fair. It's really tragic, and I feel like things need to change. Police have not classified Lee's death as a hate crime, but they are continuing to investigate. The Korean community here in Chinatown rallied together at 11 o'clock this morning in the park across the street from Christina's apartment. Nicole. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.